Well, hello and welcome. Thanks for clicking on the video. Uh, this is your host, Nate. And I got one you guys are really going to like. We got this 2,000 square foot, four bedroom, three bath home. This is kind of one you guys have all been keep asking for. The larger four bedroom, three baths. At 2,000 square foot. This one is found at Clayton Homes in Raleigh, North Carolina. So if you guys are interested in this home, click the link down in the description below. Check it out. I'm sure this home is also available at other Clayton Home Dealers. So if you're not in the Raleigh area, check them out. Just want to show you real quick on the back here. We've got a sliding glass door over there. Lots of windows. That's going to be over there in your living room. Actually, that one is in your den, I should say, because this one not only has a living room, but a den. So you got four bedrooms, three bathrooms, a living room, a den, a separate shower and tub in your master bathroom. So this home has it all. Don't forget to check it out in the description below. And hopefully when I come back on Saturday, I'll be able to get that one there. Yes, that is a two-story, triple-wide by Clayton Holmes. But now we got to go back into this one. come in we've got our extra large living room so you've got your front door right over there living room nice big area this will be perfect for just kind of gathering around that kind of stuff and then when you flip around, you can see you've got your kitchen right over here. So while you're doing your, you know, everybody's gathered over there, you can still associate with the people that are in the kitchen. The nice light fixtures here. Large island. In our island, we've got a plug-in right in the middle. So it looks like you've got adjustable shelves in there. Now the shelves aren't put up, but they are adjustable. Now this one has the black Frigidaire appliances in it. Of course, you can always option in different appliance packages. Point out here that you've got USB in your plugs also. Lots of cabinets in here. And then off of your kitchen right here is a pantry now they've got some display items and things in here so keep all that in mind this is just a show model our utility room is also right off the kitchen so you got plenty of room for your full-size washer and dryer with the rack up above you your electrical panel is right behind you 
And then there's gonna be your furnace. Now our living, or excuse me, our den or family room is just a little bit smaller than the main living room area. The nice thing about this is you've got either this wall you can use or you've got this wall, which is the way they've got it set up be your entertainment wall, so to say. We're gonna get the end bedroom down here. But before we go in, just point out, you've got bathroom number three with these square sinks. Of course, you got your vanity, recessed lighting above your sink there. One piece shower tub combo, really nice fixtures they used in here. Your drain is in the center instead of underneath your faucet there. Now you have obviously the access we came into and then there's access in that door, which goes into this bedroom here. And I haven't pointed out, you do have this crown molding all throughout the home. No, I haven't mentioned a whole lot about price yet on this home. So being down here in the South, I can tell you prices are a lot different than they are up in the Northwest. They would expect a premium for these kind of homes in the Northwest. Like, I'm not gonna tell you the price of this one just yet, but this home where I'm at in the Northwest would probably be being 2,000 square foot, four bedroom, three bath, probably up in the 260 to 280,000 dollar range. That's not the price here. In fact, it was just telling me. This one has come down by $30,000 in the last few months. Really good sized bedroom in here. And your closets are really nice size. I know I didn't say much about the closet in the other one there, but as you can see, you've got walk-in closet and you could almost put a whole nother rack right there on that wall if you needed to. And here's going to be bathroom number two. Now this one gives you a little more counter space, gives you a set of drawers. Again, you've got the recessed lighting above your sink. And hello, Raiden. Got that same one piece shower tub combo in here. Behind your bathroom door here, looks like we've got a linen closet. And then we've got bedroom number three. This one appears to be the same size as the last one I was in. Now this one does have just a slightly smaller closet. It's not a walk-in, but you do have plenty of space in your closet. All right, and I didn't really do a whole lot with the dining room. I kind of just breezed right over it. 
We do have sliding glass doors there, two recessed lights above your dining room table. Lots of space in your dining room. I mean, that's a fairly large table. Really nice sliding glass door. I like the way it's all divided up with the, those inside little dividers there. So how we breezed over the dining room, I'm not sure, but I just happened to walk right by it and didn't even stop. Now this is a really good size master bedroom. So you can see you got a lot of space between the end of your bed and the wall over there. I don't mind the trim supplies in the closet. You have our water heater access right there. But you've got this really nice long closet. Racks are way up high so you can hang some really long stuff here. Once again, you got these square sinks in your master bathroom. Set of four drawers in the center. Plenty of cabinet space down below. Recessed light above each one of your sinks. Once again, you got them with these uh, kind of bronzish, bronzish colored faucets. And then we've got this great big soaker tub. Of course, you've got the privacy blinds on your windows. So if you want light coming in, you can flip them upwards, but not close them completely and still have plenty of light coming in, but gives you your privacy. Of course, you want your privacy while you're on the toilet anyway, right? Then for our shower, you've got the one piece Fiberglass shower. Looks like it opens from this end. You got dual benches in your shower. Nice little rain head shower head there. So you guys should be going down there and raining comments on this home. Well, what do you think? What did you like? You know, this is a lot of home for the money. Trust me, you're gonna like the price on this one when I get to, to that point, which will be here in just a fraction of a second after I tell you to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, turn on the notifications so you get notified three times a week when I upload videos. That is Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. And now, let me flip around and I'll get you some price information. All right, well, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I know this is a so a lot of home for the money, for the price that you're going to pay for this home. As I stated in the video, this home has come down roughly $30,000 in the last month or so, or last couple months, I should say. So it's an even better price than it was a few months ago. With that said, this is in October of 2022. Prices do vary over time. They can still go back up or they can continue to fall. You never know. There could be extra delivery fees, extra city county fees, you know, that kind of stuff, depending on where you have this home set up and delivered. So you got to keep all that in mind. But right now, this home, as shown, is going for basically $180,000. This home used to be $210,000. So it's come down quite a bit, which is really good for a 2,000 square foot home that is a four bedroom, three bath. Appreciate you watching, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good evening. Bye.